Hey guys, Proper English here, and today we got a new snapshot with a ton of new redstone toys to play with. I'm super excited about this, and what I want to do today is take a look at one of these new devices, the redstone comparator, and show you a few ideas that I've had for how we can use this. We'll also get into how this thing works and some of its properties, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing to ask is what is a comparator? Well, this is a device that allows us to compare two inputs based on signal strength. So we've got an A input over here, and if the A input is greater than the B input, we get an output of on. This actually just passes the signal right through, it doesn't repeat it. So we can turn this guy on over here, and since the B input is not as strong as the A input, we get it passing through. But now, let's try setting it up so the inputs are equal. So A is equal to B. Well, we still get the signal passing through. All right, so that's good. Now what happens if we make the B input stronger than the A input? Well now what happens is we get an output of off. So if A is greater than or equal to B, we get an on output, assuming that A is on. But now if B is greater than A, we get an output of off. We can change this up a little bit. If we click this so that this torch has popped up. This is a subtractor mode, okay? So we'll throw a comparator over there. And now what's going to happen is when we turn on the B input, it's going to subtract. So right now the redstone is coming all the way down here. We're going to subtract a little bit by flipping this guy. And so now we can see that the signal only comes over here. So this is pretty cool. What's really cool about this comparator block is that it's instant. So let's take a look at what that means. All right, so the fact that the comparator is instant is one of my favorite features from this update because this is opening up so many possibilities. And what I mean when I say this is instant is that it has zero ticks of delay. So this line over here with the comparator is going to have the same delay as the one with just redstone over here. The one with the one tick repeater is slightly slower. It's one tick slower. So that one will turn on after these guys over here. So let's try it out flip this lever and you can see that the one with just redstone and the one with the comparator were instant. The one with the one tick repeater had one tick of delay. And so that opens up so many possibilities and we're going to take a look at some of those right now. All right, so what I've got here is an XOR gate that uses the comparator. So an XOR gate is on when only one of the inputs is on. So when this guy's on, the output is on. If I turn this one off and turn this one on, the output's on. But if both inputs are off, the output's off. And if both inputs are on, the output is off. So let's take a look at why this is pretty cool. Well, this XOR gate is one tick, all right? So we're taking advantage of the fact that these comparators are zero ticks. And we only get that one tick from these repeaters over here because we need to send a strong signal into the B input. Normally, a pistonless XOR gate is two ticks, so this is faster by one tick, which is pretty cool. And so the way this works is when I turn on one input, the comparator can turn on because the A input is stronger than the B input. But if you take a look at where this wire goes, this guy goes into this repeater and into the B input of this comparator, this one over here, goes over here into this repeater and into the B input for this comparator. And what that means is that when both inputs are on, the B input for both of these comparators will be stronger than the A input. And so that turns them off and the output is off. So it's not too bad. I'm working on a two wide tileable version of this because it would be awesome if we could get one and I've gotten pretty close. I need to tweak a few things and hopefully I'll get it, but I think I can. So you'll probably be seeing that soon. But for now, we've got a couple of other cool things we can do with this comparator. Now, one of the first things I discovered when I started playing with these comparators is they can be used to make instant wire. And this is awesome. If I flip this lever, they all turn on immediately. This is so cool, I have no idea if it's a bug or not, but either way, this is pretty neat. We'll see if it sticks around. Now, they can also be used for an instant diode that's flat. So if you remember, glowstone and slabs can be used as instant diodes. A diode is a device that sends a signal in one direction. So 
we can have a lever over here. It turns on and goes this way, but if there's a lever over on this side, can't send a signal back this way. And having an instant diode that is flat is super useful. It'll make wiring a lot easier. And I've actually set up a series of diodes over here. So you can see if I turn this guy on, it turns them all on. But if we go to any of the ones after that, it only turns the outputs downstream on. So this is pretty cool. This is way simpler than my glowstone diode line. And uh, yeah, so this thing is pretty neat. Definitely going to be using it in a lot of creations. And yeah, so that's everything that I want to show you with these comparators right now. I'm sure I'm going to come up with new things. So stay tuned for some cool stuff. Hopefully I'll have this two-eyed tileable XOR gate going pretty soon. So I'm going to go work on that. Hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time.